uh good morning again i say again but you might not be watching these videos one after the other so it might just be a case of good morning um i have i actually have two stabby pins boxes to unbox um i have the anime one and i have the uh beetlejuice one uh because the anime one arrived right before i was well i think it left the day before i got married so things were a little bit chaotic so i didn't want to unbox them then um i will admit that i have actually written down that because um Car carol let me choose these anime ones because she knows nothing about anime anime so i have actually written down the names mainly because i want to make sure i pronounce them right so i'm not cheating i do know who they are um i just i i also know my ability to mess things up massively um so first off we have the anime one which i will open and show you so i haven't seen them i've only seen the pictures so i haven't seen the actual ones and oh my god they're adorable okay they are seriously cute oh, oh my god i know anime and manga is definitely a you either get it or you don't type thing i didn't used to be an anime fan um I kind of involuntarily became one because all three of my kids love um, anime. My husband loves anime. Um, still getting used to calling him that. Um, and so I've kind of been pushed into liking it, uh, encouraged to enjoy it. Uh, more of out of a uh, saturated type thing. Um, you know, I haven't haven't done it out of choice. So left to right, we've got Goku, little Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Um, and then My Hero Academia is Izuku Midor, 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 oh my god, I messed it up already, didn't I? There we go, that went well. And then um, my youngest favourite anime character in the world is Gojo from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. An anime I haven't quite finished, we're kind of in the midst of, of that. And then the man himself, Naruto, or Na Naruto, Naruto. Uh, I had a whole argument with my middle son about this. I like to torment him by saying it wrong. Um, um, of the anime of the same name. So, personally, my favourite anime isn't actually on this. Because my favourite is Attack on Titan. And my favourite character from Attack on Titan is Sasha. However, I was very, very well behaved when picking these pins for all of you. And I went with what I hoped everybody else would like, as opposed to what I really wanted myself. Um, we do have, oh, we have had a an anime launch of um, t-shirts and prints. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch them in a big group onto Spooky Kook. Um, because I know that um, a lot of people missed out on this sale. And um, it's a... Um, it's it's something that I think you'll you know someone who enjoys anime. Perfect for Christmas. All our t-shirts are unisex as well, and we go up to five XL. So I'll show you these individually now. So there we go. Look how cute they are. They're so adorable. And these two. I actually ordered um, a set of pins for um my 24 year old because i knew that once you saw these they'd be gone and i would never see them again so i uh, i decided to hedge my bets so that i actually ended up having these pins and ordered him a set of his own um savvy pins are six pound a month we have a different theme every month um it is now september so sign ups during this month will be for let me check will be for Car Caroline, Caroline, you know what, I've never actually seen the movie, so I'm not entirely sure I'm saying that one right, um, so that uh, those pins will be leaving next month, so you should have them, should have them in time for Halloween, uh, crisis allowing, so those are the anime ones, and then we next have, which ties in nicely with the fact that uh, the second Beetlejuice is actually out today, um, or out yesterday, depending on when you're watching the video or last week or whatever. So we have the Beetlejuice pins. These ones I haven't seen. And... 
Oh, God, I love this art style so much. It's so cute. Look at them. Okay, they're adorable. <laughs> I love how angry Lydia looks. Let me pull these off. Ooh. There we go. I have green hair envy. I would love to have green hair. I just don't have the patience for the upkeep. I'm covered in ink off something. Yeah, I don't have the patience for the upkeep of green hair. Okay, and there we go. Um, I mentioned it in the uh, pajama unboxing, but I actually find this scene, it terrifies me. It's the creepiest scene, I think, of the of the movie. Um, and then the wee card. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, uh, Stabber Pins are £6 a month. That's free postage. Uh, one of the best things about the Stabber Pins, in my personal opinion, as I did with the anime ones, um, is you can get them as a gift for, gift for someone. So all you need to do once you've signed up is pop an email through because you, you'll get a welcome email um, when you sign up. Pop an email through just to confirm if you want it to go to a different address um, than, than the one that is attached to your PayPal. Otherwise, we go we go with the address and the name that is attached to your PayPal. So the same goes if you want it to go to a different name or whatever. Um, so those are the last two months of pins. So that would be the end of July, end of August ones. And then I believe... Scooby-Doo is on the way, which is the, the next box, which I'm excited about because I'm pretty sure Carol did five pins for this one because she couldn't decide which ones to do. Um, so one uh, uh, on Spooky Cook, we do launch the vast majority of the pins. We launch them on Spooky Cook. However, obviously, when they go on there, they'll be between nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine plus you have to pay postage. So it works out you save like at least half the cost when you sign up to Cyber Pins. So it's definitely worth it. And like I said, perfect gift. Um, we do have um, a customer who is currently not opening her pins, keeping them all, and is um, going to be putting them in, uh, like the box themselves, into an advent calendar. So she's been collecting them over the year which, uh, for Christmas time, which I think is great. And we actually have another one who has also spent the entire year saving them up and is going to be gifting them to someone who collects pins, which I think is a fantastic idea as well. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rambly unboxing. Um, we'll be getting back to normal soon and um, I hope you enjoyed your pins as much as I enjoyed mine.